Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Alliance 2 here on the Corky's World Channel. Now, uh, before I start, I should say the first time I played Ultimate Alliance 2 on the channel was with uh, DJ. We were just hanging out, just chilling, you know, just broing out, playing a fun Marvel game. <clears throat> it, uh, I sat down to start recording today, and I was thinking, what do I want to play? Do I want to jump back into Deadpool? Do I kick off with uh, No More Heroes 2? Yeah, I'm in the actual studio, or uh, what is the studio for now, and uh, since uh, big changes are coming up that I will discuss more in depth on, I don't know, like an update video, or maybe I'll just play something dumb just so I can get all the things I need to tell you guys about out. That being said, I thought it would be fun to play through Ultimate Alliance 2 all the way, like, or at least, you know, sit down and make a good little series of it, because this is a really fun game, guys. Uh, while... I don't think it's as good as Ultimate Alliance 1 as far as, like, mechanics go, I guess is what I want to say. Uh, Story-wise, I think it's a little more in-depth. Granted, I would all I would much rather be playing all uh, X-Men Legends 1 or 2. I just like those games more. You know, something about just being fully immersed in the X-Men universe as opposed to split up in a whole bunch of branches throughout uh, all of Marvel just seemed a little more tight-knit, a little more fun. I like the way... The art is in that one. It's a little more comic booky, And if I can get my hands on a copy of uh, either one of those for the Xbox, I'm pretty sure those are backwards compatible still. So I'd love to film those. I just got to find a copy. And maybe uh, I have something coming up where I might uh, start making money again. So maybe <laughs> that'll happen. But uh, that being said, I decided to jump back into Ultimate Alliance 2. And I was taking a look at my achievements and what I have left. And a lot of them are just get through story mode on Legendary. Uh, so, for experienced players who have completed the adventure on Heroic or Super Heroic difficulty, which I think I did Heroic, uh, your enemies will be mighty, but defeating them will offer new rewards. So, let's jump right in. And since you guys already saw this first cutscene uh, in the DJ playthrough, I'm just going to skip it, guys. It's loading, so I can't skip yet. But uh, the second I get the chance to, I will. And I'm going to try and, you know make my way through this opening act pretty quickly so we can just get into the main story. Uh, for those of you who need a recap or don't understand what's going on, I will try and remember to put a link down below so you can go to the first episodes. With, uh, with me and Deej chilling. Come on. I'm like, I know I can skip at some point. Oh, love it. There we go, skip. Old, old uh, Latveria, storming Castle Doom. So welcome back, guys. Glad to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Always thankful to have another day. And then I think we come busting through this wall right here. And it's just like, blam! There we are. And uh I don't I don't know. Uh let's let's be Wolverine. Okay. So I've been playing a lot of games where X is your like main attack, so I started with X and uh all that was doing was picking up the people, so it's not the way we want to go. I'm like, I wonder if the XP you gain from these enemies is more now since we're playing uh, Legendary. Or if it's just like they drop cooler stuff. Oh, I'm like, uh, why aren't I using my specials? <laughs> it says switch between heroes. We already know about that. I, uh, I explained a, a good bit of the... The mechanics of this game in the first two episodes of this I filmed with DJ, so I probably won't be talking much about that. I might start talking about Civil War a little bit. Uh, if I ever do decide to do a Civil War movie review like I did with TMNT, this will probably be the game I play while I'm doing it. I feel like it's really wanting me to, to switch. I don't want to, though. Alright, fine. Iron Man has the cool just 
mash A for the for the hand cannons. All right, so uh, here's Spider Man. Spider Man does that thing, and we're back to Wolfie. Castle straight ahead, barring a few twists and turns. Move out. I don't feel like anyone's leveled up yet. Gunners, always hit these guys first in a fight. And then B. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Uh, Wolver Wolverine, I said it in the first video, and I'm just going to say it for here's sake. When you get the ability to actually start using your, uh, like, start choosing who you want to play as instead of just, like, this roster you're given right at the start. I always like to keep Wolverine on the team just because uh, he has healing abilities. And if you ever get in a bind and all your players go down and you run out of... You run out of health packs, which you only get two in this game. It's good to have someone around who can just kind of run in circles and avoid conflict for a little bit while they heal. And uh, Deadpool is also in this game at some point. He comes into play, and he also has a healing factor, but his damage ratio is just nowhere near Wolverine. So, like, if you are going to have to be one man standing who can heal himself. It's good to be someone who can at least knock knock a few heads while he's while you're waiting. I can't raise Bravo. Signal must be jammed. A lot of the uh, the other achievements I have left. I have 30 out of like I think 52, 54 achievements in this game. And uh, a lot of them were like do these crazy missions on legendary but also like don't pick up power-ups and don't uh, don't die and crazy things like that. So uh, I doubt any of that will be happening, but... <laughs> Alright. Where are they? There's nothing I can't cut. I've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song from... The Out of the Shadows game stuck in my head, and it's like T U R T A L E power. Just over and over again. It's not the worst thing to be stuck in my head. It's definitely not great. Wolverine bringing the pain. Yeah, so it doesn't seem like they're leveling up any quicker. Aw, oh, man. Iron Man used that damn pulse so it knocked those guys I was going to hit out of my way instead of being in my way. One of the achievements I don't have is collect all dossiers, which... Like, that's going to happen. Yeah, I guess the next one will be 125. Maybe if I was, like, playing with a guide, but... Unlikely in this playthrough. Because then I have to stop talking... You know, even more than I'm already doing. And, uh... And look at the guide, flip through the pages. Alternatively, I could, like, in between commercial breaks, be like, oh, okay, I'm playing through this part right now, so remember that there's one here, 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 and just make notes to myself, but... But whatever. T-U-R-T-L-E power, you know? Fire damn. What, uh... Pips twenty nine. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty crazy. Like, is that just Wolverine alone, or it's like I don't remember if it's a shared pit thing. Yeah, so boost that like crazy up. Wounding strikes. That's fine. I know. I'm pretty sure those are shared. And those are locked still. What else do I got? Nothing there. So, uh, so like, I think, yeah, pressing start is how to do it as a whole. Our team has no bonus. That's not what I'm trying to do. So, like, here's what I was, oh, yeah, okay, so they're not shared. Here's what I was just doing 
before, but on the main screen. Uh, so, yeah. Dude, whatever. I don't plan on playing as Iron Man, so I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, uh, allows more frequent use of power, that's fine. Can't do those ones yet. See, what I wish that uh, the old game had that I'm pretty, pretty sure I remember is you're able to like... Alright, so bumpers allows me to switch back and forth. Let's bump up shield throw. Shield swipe. Captain's dash. Heroic defense. That one's a good one, and that one's a good one. Okay, so Spider-Man's left. I would rather web yank be bumped up. Web dive, web mace. This is crazy. I can't imagine we earned all these already. It must have been like, yeah, this is going to be pretty hard, so uh, so here's some help. <laughs> Alright, so our team's good. We already did Wolverine. I'll, I'll probably do it like this on uh, from now on, like when I do the level ups, because it's just cooler to look at it, I feel. In my own personal opinion. Damn it. I was hitting, hitting X. The camera's fixed for a good portion of this game, and I, something about fixed cameras irks me. Alright, this is a healing token, blah blah blah. Hold RB and then choose who you want to heal. Alright, so now we're going to do some, some fusions. Which, another reason I wanted to replay this is uh, because I wanted to show you guys how to do this part correctly. Not that DJ was doing it incorrectly, he was just mashing buttons to the best of his ability. Whereas, uh, there's an achievement for actually doing it the way they want you to do it in this. Alright, so hold LT and then hit A. Oh, that's me. Alright. So, clearing. Guided. Oh, what a waste. But that one is a pretty cool one. Ugh. Come in, Bravo team. Bravo team. You heard the lady. Let's find that power source. All right, guys, we're going to find that power source in the next episode. So thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming back to this with me if you are coming back. I know a handful of people for sure who wanted to see this uh, played through, and I keep saying correctly. We weren't doing it incorrect, we were just doing it naively when it was me and DJ. But now I'm going to play through, I know the stats, I know the characters, so we're going to have a great time, guys. Uh, so buckle up, set yourself in, get a snack. It's going to be a fun playthrough. Uh, thanks so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. <laughs> and uh, as always, guys, be good to yourself, be good to each other. And me, Wolfie, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Cap will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys!